one of the reasons why I got into this is because I like to keep up with uh, current, current trend, trends in technology. So I felt I needed to be in a space where I could discover, uh, just play around with things and, and discover and come up with solutions, especially those that impact on uh, society. So I tend to focus on uh, mobile technologies and cloud computing and also partner with organizations that work around virtualization and networking. So I have partnered with VMware, which is a global virtual machines um, organization that specializes in networking, uh, cloud computing and virtualization. So through that, I am able to help out SMEs uh, that would like to embrace um, cloud computing because that cuts out a lot of costs uh, for the small businesses. And uh, so most of the things I do uh, around finding solutions for education, healthcare, um, and basically just uh, repl replicating the solutions across other fields. People should be looking out for skills in um, uh, coding, for example, programming, uh, and also uh, getting the required certification uh, in these different fields. So for example, get certification in cloud computing, in uh, the virtualization, in networking. This you can do with various organizations that specialize in this, uh, Microsoft, VMware, and, and others, uh, because what I've come to learn is uh, most of this, um, uh, most of the certifications can be transferred to be applied in other areas. So they don't like restrict you. If you've done VMware certification, doesn't mean you necessarily have to uh, stick to VMware uh, related work. You could use that across other uh, related uh, technologies. I think the starting point is to always attend events that cover uh, different topics. Uh, we do find that uh, different uh, co-working spaces or innovation hubs, incubators, come up with uh, events around technology, uh, in the te technology space, and uh, uh, different speakers will cover different topics. And sometimes they do offer hands-on training in some of these courses, uh, I mean, some of these events. Uh, so, for example, Andela will hold um, a camp, uh, maybe jung Jungle Girls, and uh, you know, diff different uh, organizations offering different skills. So, I think uh, the starting point is to attend some of these courses. Then you uh, sort of get this hands-on experience, and with that, you will come to understand how the different uh, programming um, solutions work, and also. Uh, sieve and, and pick on what you think is uh, of interest to you. Uh, exposure is very important because sometimes people get into uh, different fields without understanding what they're getting themselves into. And this is why participating in these events, which most of the time are free of charge, uh, but you still find not so many people take advantage of this. So the youth should always look around for what's happening uh, in their communities and take advantage of this. So it helps them shape out their careers, shape out um, their ideas. And uh, yeah, that just boosts the innovative spirit, understanding what's going on in the market, what, uh, what uh, space uh, and gaps exist in the market and just try to find solutions for those. Uh, I'll give an example of uh, different organizations uh, helping out early career researchers, for example. Uh, there's um, Philips Healthcare. Uh, which provides a space for uh, research scientists to come up with solutions and they incubate those ideas. Um, a lot of the time you find the university students are not even aware that this kind of activities are going on. So I think uh, it's up to institutions that are training their graduates in entrepreneurship, uh, in the sciences, uh, technology space, to ensure that uh, they engage the private sector so that, um, for example, if, if uh, Philips requires uh, research scientists around uh, a certain um, health. Uh, uh, you know, they are looking for people who will come up with these innovative ideas in the health space. Then they can engage with them even while they're still students 
and work on those ideas um, at that level. So um, I think it's up to it's up to the community, I think, and also students to look out for this uh, for these opportunities. Because sometimes, if you don't look out for uh, opportunities, you'll never find them. Women in Tech Africa has a membership of over 600 across the globe. Um, and uh, what, what happens is we come up with different events, um, some of them online and some of them in our physical locations. Uh, we have a physical presence in Kenya, we have a physical presence in Ghana, uh, we have a physical presence in, uh, 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 in Ireland, the Republic of Ireland. And um, we are still growing these physical chapters and are encouraging people who uh, feel can actually start uh, local chapters uh, in other countries to do that. Uh, so our chapters are growing, uh, physical chapters, and our membership is also growing. Uh, we intend to have what we call the Tech Week this September. So from the, sep uh, from the 19th of September to the 23rd of September, we'll be having a Tech Week covering different topics from entrepreneurship, uh, leadership, uh, we'll also have a mobile and commerce day, and then have an awards day. Uh, and this is just to also um, help uh, solve this uh, statement of saying we don't have female role models, because the female role models are there. Uh, I think it's just that they are not uh, exposed enough, either by media or by themselves. And so um, it's up to organizations like the Women in Tech Africa to come up with ways to showcase uh, what these women are doing so that uh, the younger generation can look up to certain individuals and also engage this uh, women who have made uh, these contributions in the technology space to engage with the younger people through the events we hold. In the next five to 10 years, I would like to uh, have come up with solutions that have major impact on society. And this is uh, across uh, the different sectors, agriculture, education, health, um, and any other uh, areas that I feel will make a difference in terms of solving the problems that we have in, in Africa and maybe globally. Um, I am still to work on some of the solutions I think that should be out there. And this is basically because of not getting enough funding or not having uh, the required skills to uh, make sure these ideas actually go to the market. So I'm hoping in that space, uh, five to 10 years, I'll have come up with ways to, uh, uh, to sort out the gaps, um, uh, the gaps that I, uh, exist around uh, qualifications and skills, and also getting the money I need to, to work on these solutions. Um, and I also hope to have made a contribution in ensuring that more girls get into STEM. And this I am doing through different um, things. Uh, for example, uh, through Women in Tech Africa, through um, engaging uh, my networks, uh, for example, the Tech Women community, to reach out to girls that would like to be in the STEM fields. And I hope that what I am doing in that space will, be, will create an impact in terms of the numbers of girls and women in technology. So I hope that that, that um, change uh, will be noticed in the next uh, coming years.